In Joseph Murphy's teachings, prayer and affirmations have great importance. Murphy believed that we can use affirmations to reprogram our subconscious mind and get rid of limiting thoughts, and we can use the power of prayer to manifest our desires. But what is the most effective way of praying, and what is the main purpose of prayer and affirmations? This is what we are going to discuss in today's video. Make sure to watch this video to the end to understand everything fully. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, click the subscribe button below this video and press the bell icon to watch more helpful videos on Joseph Murphy's teachings and the Law of Assumption. Let's now start this video. Joseph Murphy's teachings have changed the lives of millions of people, so if you are stuck in unfavorable circumstances and want to manifest your desires, then this video is a must-watch for you. So let's jump right into it. Murphy says that prayers and affirmations are not intended to alter God, the living spirit, the life principle, or influence the divine. Rather, God remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. Instead, the purpose of prayer and affirmation is to align oneself mentally with what has always been true. Harmony and love are not created as they are inherent qualities of God that already exist within us. By claiming the peace and harmony of God within us, we can experience these qualities in all aspects of our lives. The gifts of life were given to us from the beginning of time, and our prayers and affirmations serve to bring us to the point where we can accept them. We should regard these gifts as they were given to us, with the knowledge that the oil, gold, silver, uranium, lead, copper, and other metals that we use today were all present on the earth before we were born. However, it took the intelligence and mind of man to find and extract these resources. This demonstrates the importance of belief in a guiding principle, which led men to find these valuable resources. We need not focus on external conditions, but instead work on ourselves and transform our minds to remove lack and limitations. By renewing our minds, we will find that our external environment will reflect our inner state of mind. Therefore, it is crucial to acknowledge the power within ourselves to transform our lives. We must align our thoughts with the truth and accept the abundance that already exists within us. By doing so, we can overcome the limitations that we may have placed on ourselves and achieve success in all aspects of our lives. We must remember that our thoughts and beliefs determine our reality, and we have the power to shape our destiny. Murphy believed that we all have a subconscious mind that is constantly working behind the scenes, shaping our beliefs, thoughts, and actions. He said that your subconscious accepts what you believe. In other words, what we believe in our minds and hearts becomes a reality in our lives. This is why it is important to examine our beliefs and thoughts carefully and consciously choose what we want to manifest in our lives. One belief that can transform our lives is the recognition that God created us and the world around us. We are not mere products of chance or random events, but rather we are part of a grand design created by an invisible spirit that permeates everything. This spirit is the source of all life, from the beating of our hearts to the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. By recognizing this truth and turning within, we can tap into this eternal source of supply and manifest abundance in every area of our lives. To do this, we must first let go of any false beliefs we may hold about lack, scarcity, or limitation. Instead, we must affirm our faith in God as the source of our supply, knowing that all our needs, whether spiritual, mental, or material, are met at every moment of time and point in space. We must also affirm that God's wealth is circulating in our lives and that there is always a surplus ready to be manifested when we need it. By holding this belief in our minds and hearts, we can begin to see tangible results in our lives. We can move forward and grow in every way, spiritually, mentally, materially, financially, intellectually, and in all other ways. This is not just wishful thinking, but a powerful truth that is backed by the laws of the universe. To reinforce this belief, we must meditate on the law of God, which is the law of abundance, and make it our constant focus day and night. We must contemplate our true nature as children of God, created in His image and likeness, and affirm that we are what we contemplate. Our faith must be unwavering, knowing that according to our faith it is done unto us. As we align ourselves with this truth, we will begin to see miracles happen in our lives. We will attract the right people, circumstances, and opportunities that will help us achieve our goals and fulfill our purpose. We will experience a sense of joy and fulfillment that transcends material wealth and possessions. But to make this a reality, we must be bold in our claims and actions. 
We must ask for what we want and boldly claim it as ours, knowing that we are deserving and worthy of it. We must also take the necessary steps to manifest our desires, knowing that God works through us to achieve his purposes. If we have debts, bills, or obligations, we must not worry about them but turn to the source, which is endless. Just as a farmer doesn't worry about the weeds but focuses on the growth of the grain, so must we focus on our good and trust that God will take care of the rest. We must be patient and persistent, knowing that all good things come in their own time and way. Now let's talk about prayer. A prayer is a powerful tool that can bring about incredible transformations in one's life. According to Joseph Murphy, prayer is a way to connect with a higher power and tap into the infinite potential of the universe. Whatever your desires may be, whether it's to attain success, prosperity, good health, or material benefits, the key to achieving them lies in the belief that you already possess them. This fundamental principle of prayer forms the foundation of all successful manifestations. At times, it may seem challenging to convince your subconscious mind that you have riches or any other good thing when you are faced with mounting bills, creditors hounding you, and the bank pressuring you to pay off your mortgage and debts. However, the laws of your mind work in such a way that your subconscious mind accepts as true whatever you repeatedly affirm to it. The same way you learn to walk, swim, play tennis, or golf by repeatedly repeating a thought pattern and an action until it became automatic, so it is with your subconscious mind. It's easy to get bogged down in negative thoughts and focus on your debts and obligations, but doing so will only magnify your misery. Instead, focus on repeating positive affirmations to your subconscious mind, affirmations that are convincing and repeated often enough that they become ingrained in your subconscious. When you repeatedly tell yourself that you have abundance, prosperity, success, or any other good thing, your subconscious will accept it as true and work tirelessly to bring it to pass. According to Dr. Joseph Murphy, affirmations are the key to unlocking the power of your subconscious mind. They are statements that you make to yourself repeatedly until they become deeply ingrained in your subconscious. These affirmations are powerful tools that can transform your life in ways that you never thought possible. When you repeat affirmations with conviction and passion, your subconscious mind believes them to be true and sets in motion a series of events that will bring those affirmations to fruition. It's essential to understand that your subconscious mind doesn't differentiate between what is real and what is imagined. If you repeatedly tell yourself that you have abundance, your subconscious will believe it, and it will begin to work towards bringing that abundance into your life. The same goes for success, prosperity, or any other good thing that you desire. When you consistently affirm these things to yourself, your subconscious mind will do everything possible to bring them to pass. But how can you create the most effective affirmations? The first step is to be clear about what you want. Define your goals and desires in specific terms. For example, if you want to attain financial abundance, be specific about the amount of money you want to manifest. Imagine yourself already in possession of that money and allow yourself to feel the emotions associated with that state of being. The next step is to create affirmations that reflect your desires in specific terms. For example, I am abundant and financially free, or money flows effortlessly into my life. Repeat these affirmations to yourself every day, several times a day, until they become deeply ingrained in your subconscious mind. It's important to note that affirmations alone are not enough. You must remain open to receiving the blessings that you desire. Often we block ourselves from receiving abundance and prosperity because we don't feel deserving of it. It's important to recognize that you are deserving of all the good things that life has to offer and to open yourself up to receiving them. This can be achieved through meditation, visualization, and other techniques that help you connect with your inner self and the universe. Another important aspect of successful prayer and manifestation is gratitude. Expressing gratitude for the blessings in your life, even if they seem small, can create a powerful shift in your energy and attract more abundance and prosperity. Take a few moments every day to reflect on the things that you are grateful for and allow yourself to feel the positive emotions associated with those blessings. It is also important to trust the process and trust in God. Trusting the process and having faith in a higher power can be essential when trying to manifest your desires. While the act of praying and affirming your desires can be a powerful tool, it's important to remember that it's not an overnight process. It takes time, patience, and persistence to see your desires come to fruition. It's crucial to trust in God and believe that He is working in your favor. Sometimes the blessings we receive may not come in the form we expect, but they are still there. God has a good plan for you, 
and by turning to him and expressing gratitude through affirmations and prayer, you can align yourself with his plan. When affirming your desires, it's important to use the right language. Instead of focusing on what you lack or what you want to change, focus on what you already have and express gratitude for it. This can help shift your mindset and attract more positive experiences into your life. Remember that manifestation is not about forcing your desires to come true, but rather about aligning your thoughts and actions with your goals. This means that you need to believe in yourself and have faith that what you want is possible. Trusting in the process and having faith in God can help you let go of control and allow things to unfold naturally. When you do this, you are more likely to attract positive energy and opportunities that align with your goals. Manifestation is not a magic formula, and it takes time and effort to bring your desires to reality. Stay positive, keep taking action toward your goals, and trust God to guide you toward the life you desire. I hope I was able to deliver a good analysis of this idea by Joseph Murphy. And of course, this doesn't mean we agree with every single thing he said or believed in. Because in the end, everyone will form his or her own opinion, and that is why we are analyzing and discussing his ideas and methods to fully understand his approach and general ideas, as he was a great teacher and inspired millions of people around the world. If you want to share your opinion, comment down below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos on manifestation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.